to one of what I would call some uniquely special persons in, from our Foxville community. Eight of them. We refer to them in the program as vessels of service, heroes in our community. As a proud Foxillian, it is truly a privilege for me to have been asked to speak on this auspicious occasion, the second anniversary of Fox Hill Heroes Day, sponsored by the Fox Hill Old Scholars Association. I'm proud to say that I, I have known all of you all of my life. Reverend Sherelle Sanders, someone with a special calling to stand for greatness and to influence the lives of others in the service of our God. Congratulations to you. Mrs. Elizabeth Brown Butler, a servant and warrior for Christ in our church who has served in numerous church ministries and have touched and blessed many lives. And Mrs. Butler, God bless you and for the blessings that you have brought to my life personally. Mrs. Sheila Lucinda Hall notes, a model of excellence in selfless service in numerous civil organizations in Fox Hill and the wider communi community. Congratulations, Mrs. Rose. Mr. and Mrs. Maurice Tides, two people after my own heart, whose lives are defined by their involvement in civic organizations, especially the Fox Hill Festival Committee. They are both tireless in their efforts to protect and perpetuate our cultural heritage. Hi, Morris. Well, you're good to see you, congrats. Mr. John Davis, I haven't seen you for some time, but you know that you have been special and always special to me. Known and loved for his generosity and for his exemplary sportsmanship in track and field, basketball, and as scouts leader in the Bahamas. Freddie Solomon Ramsey, he's not here today, he's away. He's my god brother, a business icon in the insurance industry, a faithful vessel of service in Mount Carey Baptist Church, and a generous community benefactor. Mr. James Curry, good to see you, Mr. Curry, and congratulations to you. Known for your involvement in the church and community, and particularly for your kindness and concern for others as the organizer of the Knights of Columbus Sunday Breakfast Meet and Meet Fellowship. Mr. Leonard Davis, who is unable to be here, you know him though, a quiet and unassuming person, but with a big and generous heart. He was one of our first jitney drivers who day after day opened his jitney doors to many Foxhillians even though they did not have the money to pay. And we remember him with love. And then of course, we remember Mama Cole with immense love and respect and pride. Mama Cole too was a business icon in Johnson Road with a uniquely delightful and unforgettable personality. And I see the very image of us sitting here. Is, are you her great granddaughter? Yes? What, what's her name? Okay, Tania. Doesn't she remind you of Mama Cole? <laughs> As a pause, we remember Mama Cole, especially for her spiritual walls. No one can move in the Holy Ghost better than Mama Cole. And she was the best dressed woman in Fox Hill. I can see her now swirling in the eyes in her long white lacy gown. And when she gave her testimony for Christ, we were often moved to tears. And I want to say a special, give a special message to her to her children, Kayla present today, and all the members of her family. You have someone to remember and be especially proud of. And I am glad that the community of Fox Hill is caused to ask to pause today to give special memory of Mama Cole. Now I want to pause myself and give due recognition and commendation to the chairman of the Fox Hill Old Scholars Association.
create a new tradition in our community, the Fox Hill Heroes Day, a day to be celebrated annually to strengthen the community bonds of togetherness for which we in Fox Hill are well known and envy, but more importantly, for us to give the heroes among us their flowers while they are alive. I am sure, like me, that you have attended many funerals where the churches were packed and a lot of tributes were paid to the deceased persons. But I often wondered that if when they were alive, did we tell them how much we loved and appreciated them? Did we say nice things about them? Did we thank them, if ever, for the good things they have done? When did we say thanks, if ever, for the contributions they have made to the quality of our lives, individually and collectively, and to our honorees today, so that we will not forget, so that we will not miss the opportunity, the golden opportunity, to look you in your faces and in your eyes and tell you how much we appreciate you, how much we love you, and how much we thank you for the service and the contribution that you have made to the community and to our lives. It's when one serves and when one sacrifices his or her time or talent or possession for the, in the interest and the welfare of others, your only reward is for us to recognize and say thank you. And so today, let us mark this day as one in which we record our thankfulness to all of our honorees. And then, if we stop to reflect, there are many unsung heroes in our Foxville community. Let us today resolve that henceforth there will be no unsung heroes among us, that we will give them their flowers while they can smell the sweet scent of our love and regard and thankfulness. And in this regard, I'm sorry that Dr. Sebastian Campbell had to leave because I wanted to give, pay a special tribute to him as a champion of national awareness for our behavior heroes, instilling in us an imperative to make our own history by recording the lives and contributions of those among us worthy to be deemed heroes. We in the Bahamas, and I was glad that our uh, MP mentioned Sipping, so Sipping Point here, because we in the Bahamas have a bad tendency of paying tribute and honoring foreign persons. When, when, when the U.S. Uh, holiday come around, or some other nationality uh, uh, is in our midst, we are quick to pay them tribute, but we forget the person, the Bahamians, who have sacrificed their lives to Benny, benefit us. And before going further, I also want to recognize our MP because when it comes to politicians, in uh, behaving politicians, I think we will all agree that he stands sh sh head and shoulder taller than all of them. And I say so as a hero. Yeah. 
hero from other persons. <coughs> if each of us were to attempt to answer those questions, we would come up with different but very similar lists of those characteristics that make a person a hero in our eyes. I will give you my own definition. In fact, everything that our moderator has said today emphasized the characteristics of a hero. Let me give you my own definition and then you can compare it with yours. A hero, in my opinion, is someone who gives or has given his or her talents, skills, time, possession, and even his or her life for the welfare and benefit of others. Or if we put it more simply, a hero is someone who goes above and beyond what's expected of him or her, beyond the call of duty in order to help those in need or to serve their community or country. I'm sure that in addition to our nine honorees, you know many Foxillians who fall within this category and who we can recognize as heroes today. Someone, a hero, you know, we, we think that a hero has to be a movie star or a, a, a warrior or, or a fighter. But a hero is an ordinary person like me and you. We all can be heroes. Some will become heroes and some will, will not. But that's a matter of choice. And I think the Reverend talked today about actions. We all have good intentions. But we need to put our intentions into actions for the benefit of our community and our nation. That's when we can be called and when we would deserve to be called and recognized as heroes. Someone who is dedicated to selfless service. In little ways or big ways, you do not have to move mountains to be recognized as heroes. Little repeated acts of compassion and kindness to others. And you can earn the honor of being recognized as a hero. If you act with sincerity and compassion, not for worthy praise or reward or for self-promotion. And again, we all can know of some heroes in, 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 in wolf clothing, I would say, among us, who pretend to act in the interests of others, but they are only concerned about their own selfish motives and their self-promotion. A hero is someone who has the desire to be helpful to those in need, who believe in action, as I said, rather than words, in the service of others, often putting others before and above self. Someone who is decisive and courageous, who acts when he or she perceives that there is a need to act, who is determined to act even if there is a reason to be afraid or the situation is potentially detrimental to self. I'm sure many of you have experienced in your lives the sacrifice and kindness of others who have put you above themselves and your interests first. And that is the, 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 the first Christian commandment, to love others as we love ourselves. That is the test of heroism. There is yet another definition of a hero in terms of self rather than others, and one which we perhaps do not even think about. And so I'll give you another definition. A hero is someone who faces challenges bravely and lives with a smile despite the problems and shortcomings. I'll repeat that. A hero is someone who faces everyday challenges bravely and lives with a smile despite problems and shortcomings. You, you can't be brave if only good things happen to you. Misfortune.
torture, chronic disabilities, trials and tribulations, test our inner strength and our endurance. Remember that success is not a guarantee. And I'm sure our enemies could give testimony to that. Sometimes things go right. Sometimes plans work out as you predicted. At other times, you miss the goal. And yet, you're not to give up. Because failure is not fatal. Failure is just a roadblock on the road to success. And perseverance and endurance are the key. Heroes have the courage to fight a situation no matter how bad it is. The determination to rise above the fear of losing, and in so doing, they inspire us and become our models of hero heroism. To our enemies today, and our would-be heroes of tomorrow, if you remember nothing else that has been said today, remember these immortal words of a great philosopher who said, the difference between the impossible and possible lies in a man's determination. The difference between the impossible and the possible lies in a man's determination. In other words, when you have determination to fight something, to succeed, no matter the odds against you, you will win. And you know I have a saying that has come from some hard-earned experience that when I thought that the sky was falling in, the house was tumbling down off its foundation, but I now can say that no matter what, whether the sky falls in or not, Pat Burroughs will survive. And I'm sure that our heroes have had that experience I'm sure that many of you here have had that experience in life because tribulations and trials and challenges make us stronger, make us stronger if, if we have the faith in we, and believe in ourselves. You are a hero if when you come to the end of your road, you know how to tie a knot and hold on. Remember that. You are a hero if when you come to the end of your rope, you know how to tie a knot and hold on. In our everyday lives, at home, at work, at church, in the community, a still, a still small voice often calls us to stand against wrong. This is another interpretation of what is a hero. When we have the courage when to stand up against wrong, even if we are standing alone, and even if that is for the good of others, and not for our selfish motives. All right, and that's that's the key. That's the key uh, condition. We stand up for what we believe is right, not to be arrogant, arrogant, not to be selfish, not to think that we are better than other persons or we know better than other persons, but because we are convinced that it is for the benefit of others, a genuine benefit of others. In closing, let me reiterate that heroes are ordinary persons who are dedicated to serving others or who inspire others by their fortitude and endurance in facing adversities. Some are destined to be heroes. Some are chosen and anointed by God. Some have heroism thrust upon them, and others become heroes through adversity. My question for you today is, will you be numbered among our heroes of tomorrow? Anyone can be a hero, but not everyone will. I challenge you to find the hero within yourselves. Put your good intentions into actions, in service to and for the good of others and our community. Will you be numbered among the nominees as heroes, the persons nominee, uh, nominated as heroes by the Fox Hill Old Scholars Association next year? Do you 
aspire to be a nominee? There is an ever-increasing number of civic-minded Foxhillians for the association to choose from. And so, going forward, the association must publish its criteria for selection and invite the community to participate in nominating deserving persons. And the question is, what have you done or are doing to make you a deserving nominee? And finally, now let us reaffirm our resolution today that henceforth there will be no unsung heroes among us, that we will give them their flowers while they can smell the sweet scent of our love and regard and thankfulness. Congratulations to our people.